Rescue Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Hi, I'm Jim Byers, and this is Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up. It's time to recap the past weekend in quarter horse racing. New meetings have begun this month at Zia Park, the Downs at Albuquerque, and Lone Star Park. We'll have results from all of those places coming up, plus a grade one test at Los Alamitos. Let's start at Zia Park, where the second weekend of the meeting included the grade two James Isaac Hobbs stakes. The Hobbs were early settlers to the New Mexico town, which carries their name and is the home of Zia Park. The purse for the Hobbs was $55,000 plus. It matched three-year-olds and up at 350 yards. In his first start of 2015, number seven, BP hit the big time becomes a graded winner with a tremendous closing rush under Felipe Garcia Luna. Royal Fast Jess was up for second on the outside with Bogart third. BP hit the big time as an Oklahoma bred son of cartel success. And the he's a fast man mare J.A. Fast Lady, bred by Bill Price and owned by top roustabouts and backhoe service. Joaquin Lopez the trainer. The winner's time 17.479 seconds. On September 18th, Lone Star Park in Grand Prairie, Texas opened its fall meeting of champions for American Quarter Horses. In addition to its regular stakes lineup, featuring the Dash for Cash and Texas Classic, Futurity and Derby, and the Refrigerator Handicap, this meeting also serves as host for the Bank of America Challenge Championships, November 6th and 7th. The stake schedule kicked off opening night with the Grand Prairie Stakes. Texas bred three-year-olds and up at 350 yards. And it was a showcase for Mr. Joe Eagle, a flashy winner under Augustin Silva, bred and owned by Dan Nix. The time 17.484 seconds, a 97 speed index. On Sunday night at Los Alamitos, 2014 AQHA champion Munis was 1 to 10 in the grade one Go Man Go handicap. This 400 yard test offers a $100,000 purse. Six others lined up to face the now four-year-old Moonist, who was top three-year-old and sophomore gelding last season. And away they go, the Go Man Go handicap, and Moonist started off beautifully to the extreme outside, and separate entries came out running strongly as well. From between horses comes all-out arrogant French Fury down along the inside, but it's Moonist who's drifting inward, but Moonist is full of runs, separate entries running his heart out, but Moonist is one to the champion of champions, and he crushes him here in the Go Man Go. Moonist is making these major races at Los Alamitos look almost routine. The remarkable California bred wins for the 19th time in 28 career starts, all at Los Al, and takes his 10th stakes race. Cesar de Alba, the jockey. By separatist out of the first down dash mare, Your First Moon, Moonist earns a spot in the champion of champions December 12th. With earnings of more than $643,000, Moonist is owned by Ronald Hartley and trained by John Cooper bred by Vessel Stallion Farm. In the 55th Go Man Go Handicap, Moonist goes the 400 yards in 19.599 seconds. Stay with us, more stakes results and images after this break. The Lone Star Park Fall Meeting of Champions is off to the races. Friday and Saturday post times are 6.35 p.m. Sunday afternoon racing starts at 1.35. Plan now for the Bank of America Challenge Championship Finals, Saturday, November 7th. An official representative for horsemen in the state, the OQHRA administers race, benevolence, and scholarship programs, all to better the state of racing in the state of Oklahoma. Visit OQHRA.com.
Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. The Lone Star Park Fall Meeting of Champions is off to the races. Friday and Saturday post times are 6.35 p.m. Sunday afternoon racing starts at 1.35. Plan now for the Bank of America Challenge Championship Finals, Saturday, November 7th. Will Rogers Downs Quarter Horse Meeting is in full swing in Claremore, Oklahoma. Two of the biggest events are the 350 and 440 divisions of the Black Gold Futurity, first of which is Saturday, September 26th. Leading the field of 10 is top qualifier ABC, one of two finalists hailing from the Brian Muse training stable. An earner of $70,000 plus, ABC has run with some of the best in the region, having competed in the Grade 3 Remington Park and Speed Horse Futurities. Jockey James Flores and ABC have been installed as the 5-2 favorite over a talented field in the Black Gold 350-yard championship Saturday the 26th at Will Rogers Down. Raceview Network will have a new installment of the Racing Challenge update out soon. Be sure to catch that for the latest regional race recaps and more, all leading to the Bank of America Challenge Championships at Lone Star Park on November 7th. We're out of time and content for this edition of the show. We appreciate you spending some of your free time with us. For all involved with the show, I'm Jim Byers. Hope you're with us next time for Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up.